dear students welcome to saudabia guba schools now we see about that example number 1.13 on account of the dimension so 1.13 the question is how to convert that units from one system to another system now the question is gravitational constant in nks system nks or si so nks system or si system that value is 6.6 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square kilogram power minus 2 that's a question how to convert that system of units from system internal that means si to the cgs system that's a question now at the time of converting from one system of unit to another one system first you have to take the numerical number n and the corresponding unit u and that's a general formula now that the manner i'm going to write the system international n1 because that is a numerical one in one system then forwarded by the corresponding units is a m1 l1 and t1 then the powers of the corresponding units should be raised by their dimension a for m so a for m1 b for l and c for t1 when if it is in any one of the system that value that will be a same so the new product of numerical value and the corresponding units in one system that is equal to the product of numerical value in another system and the corresponding units m2 l2 and t2 then the power should be raised a for m b for l and c for t there is a one system of unit the gravitational constant how now we are going to see how it will be converted from one system of unit to another one system it is in nks now we are going to convert it to the cgs okay then in a nks or si unit the mass is denoted by m1 is equal to 1 kg okay likewise length l1 is equal to 1 meter then time t1 is equal to 1 second in a nks system we have to follow these units mass length and the time it is measured with the help of that kilogram meter and its second uh, in a cgs in a cgs mass m2 now it is a gram so that is a gram one gram mass is measured with the help of that gram then length l2 that is equal to 1 cm then the time t2 that is equal to one second these are the unit set of unit used in the cgs system these are the set of units we are used in a si system now we are going to convert from one system of unit to another one system it's a general formula then what are the dimension for mass length and the time in the case of that gravitational constant the gravitational constant the unit is given newton meter square kilogram power minus 2 dimension means we are written that any one of the quantities in terms of the fundamental quantities a mass there is a meter it is a fundamental quantity kilogram that is also a fundamental quantity but the newton is not a fundamental unit that is a direct unit when we convert it into that fundamental unit we can easily find out the dimension formula so the newton is the unit for the force from the formula f is equal to m into a mass into acceleration 
the unit for that mass unit for mass is a kilogram and the unit for the acceleration is a meter second power minus 2 so we may replace that newton the unit derived unit newton with the help of the fundamental unit kilogram meter second power minus 2 so if you substitute this unit for the newton kilogram meter second power minus 2 then here is our meters square then kilogram power minus 2 now I am going to simplify this value simplify kilogram power 1 kilogram power minus 2 at the time of multiply powers we have to add so that is a kilogram power minus 1 then meter square and meter at the time of multiply the power we have to add so meter cube Okay, then second power minus 2, second power minus 2, if we return like that or kilogram inverse meter cube second power minus 2, it is a simplified form, then easily we can return in the dimension form, the dimension form is kilogram, kilogram the dimension formula for that mass is a m, so m power minus 1 the dimension for length that is a L. So L cube. Then the dimension for that the time is a T. T power minus 2. It is a dimension formula for the gravitational constant. So it's a dimension for mass is a A is equal to minus 1. So the A for mass, B for small b, B for length, and the C for time. So from this we get the value for A is equal to minus 1, then B is equal to 3 and C is equal to minus 2. Now it's the dimension for that gravitational constant. Now we are going to substitute this value and convert from one system of unit to another system. N1 is the CGS system. Gravitational constant in SI system. Then M one power A L one power B T one power C. Okay, that is equal to N two is a numerical value. We have to convert into CGS. So gravitational constant in CGS. If it is come to the denominator, we can write it is equal to m2 power a, l2 power b, t2 power c. Then the value of gravitational constant in CGS is equal to gravitational constant in CGS is equal to Gravitation constant in SI that is a 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11. Okay. Then M1 by N2 whole power A. M1 by M2 power A. Likewise L1 by L2 power B. Then T1 by T2 power C. Then we substitute the value for M1 and M2, L1 and L2, T1 and T2 equal to 6.6 into 10 power minus 11. What is the value for M1? M1 is equal to 1 kg. 1 kg that is also equal to 1000 gram. 1000 means 10 power 3 gram. Likewise, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So that may be written as that 10 power 2 centimeter. Then one second okay. M1 is replaced by 10 power 3 gram. So 10 power 3 gram divided by M2. M2 is equal to 1 gram. So 1 gram. Power A. So the value of A is a minus 1. Okay. Then, what is the value for L1? L1 is equal to 100 centimeter. 
So 10 power 2 centimeter divided by L2 that is a 1 centimeter power is a B. B is equal to 3. Then time is a 1 second divided by 1 second power C. C is the value that minus 2. Get cancelled. Gram, gram, centimeter, centimeter, second, second, get cancelled. Then the power will be 10 power 3 whole power minus 1 that is equal to 10 power minus 3. This is an, this value of gravity constant in CGS is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 power 11 into 10 power 3 whole power of minus 1. So, at the time of multiplying this value, 10 power 3 whole power minus 1, that is 10 power minus 3. Then 10 power 2 whole power 3, so that is equal to 10 power 6. Then numerator and denominator get cancelled, so 1 power minus 2, 1 power minus 2, that is written as 1 by 1 square, so 1 by 1, so that is equal to 1. So, into 1. Final value of gravitation constant in CGS is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 power 11 minus 11. So, minus 11 into 10 power 3. So, that is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11 plus 3. So, now it is a minus 8. Now it is converted into the, the CGS. After converted into the CGS, the unit for SI or MK should be written into the CGS form. What is the CGS unit for that force? It is a diameter. What is the CGS unit for that meter? It is a centimeter. So centimeter square. Now likewise, the unit for kilograms is a gram. So gram power minus 2. Now it is the CGS value for gravitational constant. Okay. That is a method or procedure to convert the units from one system of unit to other one system. That is an example 1.13. The next. 1.14. In a 1.14, we are going to check the equation is dimensionally correct or not. Given one equation, now it is the second application of that dimension. Second application, dimension is used to whether the given equation is correct or not. So, take on equation V is equal to U plus AT. V is equal to U plus AT. Now it is the equation for straight line. V is the velocity, final velocity. U is the initial velocity. A is the acceleration. Then T is the time. So, the dimensional formula for velocity is L T inverse. Likewise, the dimensional formula for initial velocity that is also L T inverse. Then, the dimensional formula for acceleration. Acceleration is that L T t power minus 2. Then here is a t, 1 t. Or t or t power 1. At the time of simplification, L t inverse is equal to L t inverse plus here t power minus 2, t power 1. At the time of product, you have to add these powers. So, minus 2 plus 1 that is equal to minus 1. So, LT inverse. At the time of applying the dimensional formula for each physical quantity, all the terms are having that same dimensional formula. At the time only the equation is dimensionally correct. So, now one equation is given. In this equation made by the physical quantities, it is the final velocity, it is the initial velocity, acceleration and the time. These are the physical quantities. After applying the dimensional formula for each physical quantities, all the terms are having that same dimensional formula. 
this equation is dimensionally correct. Likewise, we may check any one of this equation. Let's say for example, a of is equal to m a. That is a familiar equation. A force is equal to product of mass into acceleration. This equation is correct or not? We may check. How? After substitute the dimensional formula for each physical quantity, if it is equal on both sides, that is dimensionally correct. It's okay. M L T power minus 2. It is a dimensional formula for force. It is equal to the dimensional formula for mass is a capital M. Then dimensional formula for acceleration is L T power minus 2. If both the sides of equation having the same dimensional formula, this equation is correct, dimensionally correct. Such a way we have checked here is also. Another one is homogeneity. So what is called homogeneity? If the two dimension, if the two terms are having same dimension, we may add. That we may add only these two terms which are having the same dimensional equation. So, if you add these two dimensional equation that will be gives the same LT inverse. It is also LT inverse. Either sides of that equation having the same dimensional formula, at the time we said the equation is correct. It is a dimensionally correct. Likewise, this dimension method is useful to check whether the equation is dimensionally correct or not. That is a another one example, another one usage of the dimension. Okay. In our book, one question is that then another one application is how to find the relation between the given physical quantity? How do you find out the relation between the given physical quantity? That is a third application of the dimension. How we derive? So, in a theory, Q is the one physical quantity. Okay, Q is the one physical quantity. Uh, simply, we say, Q1 is the another one physical quantity. Q2 is the another one physical quantity. Then Q3 is the another one physical quantity. The given physical and physical quantity, if it is depends of the physical quantities Q1, Q2, and the Q3, we may say Q is proportional to Q1, Q2, Q3. Understand? Q is the one physical quantity. If the physical quantity depends upon Q1, Q2, Q3, we may return as that proportional to. Q is proportional to Q1, Q2, Q3. If it is not depends, that means independent on Q1, Q2, we may simply return as that it is proportional to Q3 alone. Okay. If it is depends only, we may return Q is proportional to Q1, Q2 and Q3. Then, at the time of return in that other form equal, equal, so Q is equal, here we have to put that constant, is a dimensionless constant, dimensionless constant equal and dimensional constant that is equal to the proportional, then Q1, Q2 and Q3, ok, first step is here proportional, then the proportional is replaced by equal and the dimensionless constant. Then what we do? Then you have to substitute the dimensional formula for these quantities. Dimensional formula for these quantities. Dimensional formula. Dimension. Formula. For quantities. After substitute the dimensional formula for quantities, you have to equating their dimension on either sides. Equating dimensions on either side. Okay. Then we have to find out the value for A, B and C. 
see. And now, that is a way to find out the relation between that given physical quantities. So, what is this? The blank theory. How we written? Let's say, for example, kinetic energy is equal to half m square. Just for example, kinetic energy is equal to half m square. Kinetic energy, the moving bodies possess the energy. That energy is called as a kinetic energy. The expression for the kinetic energy is a half m square. Okay. Why here we have to return in that mass and velocity square? Now it is a relation between that physical quantity, kinetic energy and physical quantity Q. That is depending upon that mass and velocity. Mass and velocity. Now it is a relation. How the equation that will be formed? How it will be obtained? With the help of the dimension method only. How? In our question, first I am going to write term. The kinetic energy depends on kinetic energy is depends on mass and velocity. Kinetic energy depends on mass and velocity. Kinetic energy is a quantity Q. We may take as the mass that is a Q1 and the velocity that will be taken as a Q2. Here the two terms only apply. If the three quantities are obtained, we may consider the Q3 also. So, kinetic energy is proportional to mass and velocity. At the time of return, kinetic energy is equal to the constant k and the mass and the velocity. Here this value of k is equal to half. That we will find with the help of the experiments. Okay. Then what is the dimension for the kinetic energy? Is a dimension. So, kinetic energy, the dimension is that m l square t power minus 2 it is the dimension for kinetic energy is equal to k into k does not have any dimension is a dimensionless constant that is the equation number 1 k is a dimensionless then mass the dimension for mass is a m then the dimension for the velocity is a L T power minus 1. Okay. Now written as that mass power A. L that is denoted by B. T that is denoted by that C. Here is also M that is denoted by, denoted by that M power 1. You may take as that, that is taken as a B. First, I am written the dimension on both sides. Here what is the dimension? M1, M power 1, L power 2, then T power minus 2. Here N power A, L power B and then T power minus C. T power C. So, that is equal to m power a, l power b, then t power minus 1 power c, so it is a minus c. At the time equating these two values, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2. Equating dimensions on both sides. Here is a dimension 1, dimension 2, dimension minus 2. Here is a dimension a, dimension b and a dimension minus c. So, from this equating A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, then C is equal to minus 2. So, okay. Then after substitute this value, we may find out the relation between the physical quantities. That is just an example for the theory. So, what we do is the physical quantity, here is also physical quantity. Now, the physical quantity is written in the form of that constant, dimensionless constant. Then, here is the written in the form of dimensional constant. Then, a dimensional formula, dimensional formula is substituted. Then, equating the dimension on either side is here is the equating the dimension on either side. After, we may find out the value for ABC. Here is also ABC. Okay. Then, one question is that. Example number 
5 is a 1.5 and pi 1.5 here this question is the time period of the simple pendulum time period of the simple pendulum depends on depends means depends on is a proportional to mass of the bar m mass of the bar and a length of the bar mass and a length and the acceleration due to gravity at the place is a small question the question is given t time period is the quantity one quantity mass of the bar that is also a one physical quantity length of the uh, pendulum that is also a one physical quantity then acceleration due to gravity at the place that is also a one physical quantity now we have to derive the relationship between the given physical quantities simple pendulum you know that is simple pendulum is a mass mass of the bar length means fixed point to the middle of the bar that is a l and the acceleration due to gravity at the place that is taken as a g okay now i am going to return in that dimension method general form here the t is equal to t is equal to k k is a dimensional constant here in our sum the value of k is equal to uh, 2 pi time period that is equal to dimensionless constant k and uh, m m power a l power b and g power c take equation number after find out the value a b c you have to substitute this equation so i am going to take the equation number 1 okay then i am going to return that dimensional formula for each physical quantities it is a time period time is a time period dimensional formula for time period is a capital t k is a dimensionless K is a dimensionless. Then mass. The dimension for mass is capital L. The dimension for length is capital L. Then the dimension for acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. And that is taken as a L T power minus 2. Okay. It is a quantity. It is a dimension. Now we should substitute the dimension in this equation 1. So what happened? Time. The dimension is a t. So t is equal to k is a dimensionless. Don't, don't mention the dimension. m power a. Here is a m. Mass is to capital M power A then length L power B and G power C G, the dimensional formula of G is LT power minus 2 so G is replaced by LT power minus 2 power C ok now I am going to simply substitute that Dimensional formula for the given physical quantities, that's all. We may return as that L power 1. For equating here, M and L is not present. So, for understanding, we put the value for M power 0, L power 0. So, because anything power 0, that is equal to 1. For understanding only, for equating, we are put the value for M power 0, L power 0 and T power 1. Now, M power 0, L power 0, then T power 1 is equal to M power A, L, here L power B, here is a L power C, that is also present. We may return that L T power minus 2, whole power C is written as L power C and T power minus 2 C. Okay. 
Then m power a, l power b and l power c. At the time of multiply powers we have to add. So l power b plus c. Okay. Likewise the t power minus 2c. After substitute the dimension formula for the given physical quantities. And now I am going to equating the powers on either sides. So then equating the powers, what we get? At the time of equating the powers, a is equal to 0. Take equation of Then minus 2c is equal to 1. Equation number 4. From 4, what we get? From 4, from 4 the equation, what we get? The value of c is equal to minus 1 by 2. If you substitute the value of c in equation 3, so what happened? From 3, so from 3, b minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0. So b is equal to b minus 1 by 2, b minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 or otherwise b is equal to plus 1 by 2. That's the value for b. That's the value for c. It is a value for A. Now I got the value for A, B, C. Then substitute the value of A, B, C in this equation 1. And also substitute the value for the constant 2 pi. Then T is equal to from the equation 1, T is equal to the value of constant is set to K. So 2 pi. Then m power a, the value of a is a 0, so m power 0, ok, then l power b, l power b, so the value of b is a 1 by 2, then g power c, g power c, the value of c is a minus 1 by 2, so minus 1 by 2, then how we write, t is equal to 2 pi, into L power of L power minus of. If this term went to the denominator, it is written as G power 1 by 2. G power minus 1 by 2, when it is went to the denominator, we may return as the G power 1 by 2. Anything power 1 by 2, we may put inside that square root. So, T is equal to 2 pi into root of L by G. Now it is a formula to find out the time period for simple pendulum. That is the relation between that given physical quantities. Here the m not at time. Why? m not come. That's the meaning. The time period of the pendulum, it is independent of the mass. So because a power 0, so m power 0, m power 0 that is equal to 1. The time period of the pendulum independent of the mass. If you change the mass of the bar, pendulum, sub bar, it is not affected the time period. So what? It is not take part in this equation. Now it is a relation between the given physical quantities. In our physics, all the expressions, they are derived with the help of the dimensional formula. Okay. Another one example. Using, we can easily understand it. So what is the other example? Just to follow. Just to follow me, what I am going to change? It is a 1, as I say we may take an as the sun. The earth revolving around the sun. The mass of the earth is taken as the m. That is a travel with the velocity at the time of revolving around the sun. So the velocity is taken as the v. And the radius, the distance, that is taken as the r. Now, it is, these are the physical quantities. What is the force acting between this sun and the earth? It is a gravitational force. The force. The force experienced between the particle which is undergoing that circular motion, centripetal force that will be act. Now, the question is, look at that. 1.16. 1.16. Just I am overwrite this method. I am going to find out the relation between that and other one physical quantities. 
what are they? The centripetal force. Just to follow my words, centripetal force experienced in between these two masses depends on depends on depends on mass of the object M and the velocity of the object V and the distance between the two masses. That means the radius at the time of revolving around the circular path, the radius we have to consider. So it's a R. So the centripetal the, our question is when a mass revolve around the another one fixed force E, the centripetal force depends on mass of the object, velocity of the object and the radius. So from this word I am written F is proportional to M, B and R. Then the force F is equal to K into M. Then another order we are going to do, what we are going to do? Simply substitute the dimensional formula for the given physical quantities. Then here the quantities are force. Force, the dimensional formula for the force is m l t power minus 2. Then another is a k. K is a dimensionless. Then mass, dimension found the mass is capital M. Okay. Then velocity. The dimension for velocity is a l t inverse. Then the radius. The dimension for the radius is L. So because it is a fundamental unit for length. So radius is a L. First the general form is written. The equation number 1. Then I am writing the corresponding dimensional formula for the physical quantities. Then substitute these physical quantities in this equation. Substitute the dimensional formula for the corresponding quantities in this equation. So, what it will become? Force, first of all, force. Then the force is replaced by M L T power minus 2 is equal to K is a dimensionless, don't need to write. Then M. M is a mass. So, M power A. Then, V power B. V is a velocity. So, L T inverse power B. Then, R. R power C. R is a radius. So, the dimensional formula for R is a L. L power C. It's okay. Then, it is written as M power A. Here, L power B. L power B, T power minus 1 B. At the time of product, minus B. L power C. Okay. Then, it is written as M power A, L power B and C is there. At the time of product, B plus C. Then, T power minus B. Here, M, L, T power minus 2. We may take for better understand M power 1, L power 1. Then equating the powers on both sides. A is equal to 1. B plus C is equal to 1. Minus P is equal to minus 2. Equating the powers on either sides. So equating powers a is equal to 1. Take equation number 2. Then B plus C is equal to 1. That is taken as equation 3. Then from that minus B is equal to minus 2. So what B is equal to 2. 2 values are obtained. A value and B value. From 3. From 3, if you substitute the value for B here, then 
2 plus c is equal to 1. So, c is equal to minus 1. Clear? c is equal to minus 1. Now, I got the value for a, b and c. Then, substitute the value of a, b, c in equation 1. So, we got f is equal to, what is the value for k? k is equal to 1. 1 into m power a. m power a. So, 1. b power b. b power b. The value of b is a 2. And the r power c. r power c. The value of c is a minus 1. So, we may return as f is equal to m into b square if it comes to the denominator that is generated by r. So, f is equal to m b square by r. These are the relation between the given physical quantity. That is a familiar equation at the time of study about the centripetal force. That equation only correct. That equation is obtained with the help of the dimensional method. So, that is the application of the dimension. The third case that is used to derive the relation between the given physical quantities. So, what are they? Three applications are used. The dimensions are used to do the three applications. The first one is the convert from one system of unit to another one system. The second one is the whether the equation is correct or not. Dimensionally, we may check with the help of the dimension. The third one is that there is a relationship between the given physical quantities. So, all the three applications are explained with the help of example. Okay. Then, another one question is that in our textbook, book back question, how to convert? You can, you can easily do that stuff. In our textbook, the question number is 12. The question number is a 12. What I say, the question is, force is proportional to square of the velocity. Force is proportional to square of the velocity. Okay. Then the dimension of proportionality constant is the dimension of proportional constant. F is equal to k into v square. Now they are asking the dimension for the proportionality constant. You have to find out that dimension for the proportionality constant. So what to find out that dimension for proportionality constant, you should substitute the dimension for both the force and the velocity. So k is equal to f by v square. The dimension for the force is m l t power minus 2 divided by the dimension formula for velocity is l t inverse the square. So that is equal to m l t power minus 2 divided by at the time of squaring l square then t power minus 2 get cancelled. t power minus 2, t power minus 2 get cancelled. Then l, l get cancelled. l inverse. Now, what is the dimension formula? Or otherwise, we may return as that m l inverse t power 0. Now, what is the dimension formula for the constant k? That is the one question. It is the one more question that is present in our textbook. Find out the dimensional formula for the proportionality constant when the force is directly proportional to square of its velocity. So, that is a method to find out the dimension formula for the k. Okay. Then another one question. 11. Question number 11. Question number 11. What I say? Question number 11. I look at that. In a CGS system, the value is given. The mass is a unit is a gram centimeter power minus three, so it's a density. A density rho density rho in CGS is equal to four gram 
centimeter power minus. Now we have to convert it into the underground system. It is not a FPS, it is not a MKS SI. It is an unknown system. In this system, the mass is denoted by the in this system, the mass that is taken as that 100 gram and length that is taken as a 10 centimeter. Okay, in this system, they follow the mass, the unit for mass is that one unit of mass that is equal to 100 gram and one unit of length that is taken as a 10 centimeter. Then value of the density of the material in this system. In this system, we have to find out that density of the object. Now we all convert from one system of unit to another one system. In this system, in a inner system, the mass is denoted by 1 gram. But here the mass is denoted by the 100 gram. And that is also given in our question. Okay. So first we are going to write that's a known, it's an unknown. The known from convert from one system of another uh, unit to another one system, you have to follow the product of numerical value and the corresponding unit that will be a constant. So n1 in the u1 is equal to is a numerical value or uh, another one system is taken as a n2. Then corresponding unit is taken as a u2. Okay. Here in the CGS, it may be written as n1 that is the value is a 4. Then here the value of corresponding unit m1 power a, l1 power b and t1 power c. Here that is, is a unknown. We didn't know this value. So n2. In this the mass is taken as a m2 power a, l2 power b and t2 power c. It is a density and it is also in CGS. CGS system mass m1 is equal to 1 gram, l1 is equal to 1 centimeter, t1 is equal to 1 second. It is in a CGS. There is an unknown system. In an unknown system, mass m1 is equal to or m, m2, m2 is equal to 100 gram. Likewise, length l2 is equal to 10 centimeter. Here, they didn't mention about that time. A mass and the length only they consider. Okay. So, we may take an as that a t2 is equal to 1 second. Or we may leave it, the T2. Only we consider as a mass and a length. Okay. It is a another one system. How do you find out the value for ABC? That physical quantity is the density. So density is equal to mass by volume. So the density, the dimensional form of the density is that the mass, the dimension for the mass is m, volume is that l cube. So that is equal to m l power minus 3. And that means t power 0, m power 1. It is the dimension formula for that a density. Okay. So what the value of a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, then c is equal to 0. From this density dimensional formula, we equating the dimension for that density is a, a equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 0. Then this value only we have to find. So n2 is equal to 4 into m1 by m2 power a, l1 by l2 power b, t1 by t2 power c. Then substitute the value for m1, m2, l1, l2, t1, d2 equal to 1 gram divided by here is a 100 gram. 100 gram or other is that is equal to a 10 power 2 gram. 10 power 2 gram. Here is a 10 gram. Okay. It is a 1 gram divided by 10 power 2 gram. Power A. What is the value for A? A is equal to 1. 
Then L1, L1 is there, 1 centimeter. L1, 1 centimeter divided by, here L2 is equal to 10 centimeter. So, 10 centimeter power minus 3. Then T1 and the T2, 1 second divided by 1 second may take power 0. Anything power 0, that is equal to 1. Anything power 0, that is equal to 1. So, cancel gram gram, centimeter, centimeter. The 10 power minus 2 comes to the numerator. So, 10 power minus 2, minus 2 into 1. That is also a minus 2. So, 4 into 10 power minus 2. Here, 10 power 1. If it is come numerator, 10 power minus 1. 10 power minus 1 into minus 3. That is a 10 power plus 3. So, okay. So, that is equal to... 40. It is a, if it is a gram centimeter per minus 3, now this is, unit is also a another one system, gram centimeter per minus 3. So, 40, that is the final answer, that is the quantity of this physical quantity in another one system. There is a one more question. Here, that is the example for how to convert that system of unit 1 unit to another one unit. So, these are the equations of Equal, these are the, so, these are the three methods, three applications of the dimensions. The applications of the dimension and how we convert one system of unit to another one system, how we check the equation is dimensionally correct or not, then how we find out the relation between the given physical quantities or find with the help of the dimension. These are the sums, these are present in our textbook. So, you have to prepare. You have to practice. At the time of practice only, that is going to be easy. So, practice yourself. So, if you have any doubt, replay this video and check once again. So, that is very helpful to you. Thank you.